so I'm going to talk today about why DMN is like an octopus. Why am I doing this? Well, I'm an octopus geek, and I'm a DNN geek, so I figured I'd just join my geekdoms and do this. Um, now, this is the first time I've ever done a presentation, um, so most people probably don't know who I am. My name is Ron Miles. I'm a software engineer at Virtuoso. Um, I'm also an author, a musician, a blogger. I actually do a daily post about octopus at octopitalmotion.com. Um, so, there's a word I need to clarify with you before I go any farther, and that's the correct plural of octopus. It is not octopi, because octopus is a Greek root, octopi is a Latin pluralization. It's wrong. Octopuses is an acceptable Americanized plural, but the correct plural is octopodes, because that is the Greek pluralization. The problem is you say octopodes, nobody knows what you mean, so you have to burn an entire slide explaining the word. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I'd like you to meet the .NET Nuptipus. <laughs> my my co-worker Michael was kind enough to make this for me. I told him what I wanted, and he told me I was weird, and then he built this for me. So this is my mascot for the presentation, the .NET Nuptipus. Now, why is DNN like an octopus? The obvious one is we're at version 8, an octopus has 8 legs. It's really obvious, so here's a joke. This is actually the most popular post I ever did on my blog. Um, real reasons why DNN is like an octopus. An octopus has amazing skin. It's filled with chromatophores that can change color, it can change texture rapidly, and adapt to its environment. Well, DNN has the same thing. DNN has amazing we used to call them skins, now we call them themes, and it lets DNN adapt and evolve and display correctly in its environment. Another cool thing about octopodes is that they actually have a separate brain for each arm. There's a master brain that issues controls, and then each arm will independently figure out how to achieve the task that the central brain identifies. Well, DNN does the same thing. Um, DNN has its core libraries, and it goes out and says, do this. And then it has this entire suite of providers that independently do figure out on their own how to do what they're supposed to do. Now, octopodes are also insanely flexible. The only hard part of an octopus body is their beak. Everything else is soft tissue, and it can bend and twist and stretch and grasp. They're really amazing animals to watch. Well, DNN is also insanely flexible. Um, and not only is that flexible in responsive layouts and that sort of things, but DNN doesn't even have to be a website. DNN can be the web API talking to your mobile app. Now, octopodes will <coughs> If they're in danger, if the situation demands, they will actually voluntarily sacrifice an arm to escape a predator. Um, they'll shoot out a burst of ink and swim away. Well, DNN sometimes does the same sort of thing. Sometimes they're a watch. <laughs> now, this is the point where I have to admit that when I dreamt up the idea of doing this presentation, I didn't think it through entirely. Um, I didn't have enough material for 20 slides, so I decided what I would do is sing one verse of one song about a giant Pacific octopus. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Getting close enough to touch you, getting brave enough to take you in. 